We challenged 16 of the best perch anglers in Europe to catch as many and big perch as possible in 480 hours. They can fish wherever they want in Europe and for three days the eight teams will fight for 10 hours per day, putting a total of 480 perch fishing hours behind them. Two of the days will be fishing from boats, but new for this season is that one of the days the teams are forced to fish from the shore. Last season offered the most challenging conditions in the nine year history of this tournament, but it also produced a new Perch Pro Big Fish record as Team Bite of Bleak caught a 51 centimeter beast in the final episode, earning them the prestigious trophy. Oh my god! This year, the teams have spent even more time training and refining their tactics to maximize their chances of bagging the victory. Four points will be given out each day. The number point, the big fish point, the top five point and the top water point. At the end of the tournament, four extra points will be handed out. One for the highest total numbers over all three days, one for the biggest perch caught, one for the highest combined top five and one point for the biggest perch caught on top water. If you are watching from Germany, France or the Netherlands, you can now enjoy Perch Pro with voiceover and presentation in your language on our German, French and Dutch YouTube channels. The links are in the description. We have 16 of the best barge in Europe to catch the most number of perch in one day, to fish from the shore. In June of 2023, you can participate in Perch Pro Open Qualification in the south of Sweden and challenge the pros in front of a live audience. The winner will not only get 5,000 euros catch, but also get an entry ticket to the real Perch Pro YouTube edition. The same goes for Sander Pro and Fly vs. Jerk. Read more at tournaments.kanalgratis.se This, This is, is Perch Pro 9! Are you ready, Toby? Always ready. Let's go to the first race. Ready. Absolutely crazy weather. Lightning hits us. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Sky went nuts, it's raining cats and dogs. It's in yes, the very! Oh. <laughs> I don't understand what the hell is going on here. It's a really big one. Oh my god! Take it, take it, take it, take it. No! Thank you, Birch God! It's a perch, it's a perch. It's a really big perch! Yeah! Yeah! We did it! Chris, I don't have a single bite here. That's typical Swedish guys are always casting over the line. You just lose the nana house, so it's better to leave them to me. I'm gonna start crying now. This is f***ing unbelievable. Perch Pro 9 is brought to you by Big Pike Trailers, premium boat trailers made in Latvia. Westgear, your boat dealer in Sweden. One Boat Network, all together now and JR Logistic, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. The eight teams are currently on their way to their show cell locations and in less than 30 minutes, all teams will begin fishing. The first team to hit the waters are the winners from last year, Team Bite of Bleak. But since winning the previous season, the champions Pelle and Peter actually went separate ways as Pelle started working for Shimano. This time, the old companions will battle each other, representing two different teams, and they have both chosen to fish the same part of northern Sweden. Team Bite Oblique is made up of Peter Fredriksson and his new co-angler, Rickard Nurmi, a young and upcoming angler making his first YouTube appearance. Bite Oblique is a relatively young brand focused heavily on modern perch fishing, and they are always at the forefront of adopting and fine-tuning the latest techniques. Hello guys! This is Bite Oblique signing in. I'm Peter Fredriksson. I'm Rickard Nurmi. And as you know, we are the defending champions. We're really feeling the pressure this year, I think. Yeah, everyone is hunting us this year. Yes, way. that is the real feeling. We are here to protect our title. Yes, but we have good spots then. I yeah. think we will have a good chance. Yeah, absolutely. So we are just lying on one of the spots now in a real clear water lake. We have a depth of like 8-10 meters around us with some rocky terrain under the water. So now we go for it. This year we have collected detailed weather and conditions data from all the teams and will present them throughout this series. Understanding the conditions and waters you're fishing is arguably the most important skill of an angler and we hope that you will find a piece or two to add to your own puzzle of becoming a better angler. 
Not too far away, Team Shimano with Peleset and Thierry Ngen are also getting ready to hit the water. Thierry is an incredibly skilled French angler with an impressive number of big fish under his belt. Let's see if combining their French and Swedish skills will be the winning strategy in Perch Pro 9. Hello everybody, welcome to Perch Pro 9. My name is Pelle Set, working for Shimano. And bonjour, I am Thierry from France and I'm a French ambassador for Shimano, coming for the very first time on Perch Pro. And uh, I guess I will catch some big perch here. Yeah, yeah, we are up uh, northern part of Sweden. I have bring the Rie to a small lake uh, and we hope to get numbers and of course hit into that big one that everybody's looking for. Uh, last year I won Perch Pro with my old team, uh, Bite of Bleak. I know that Peter and Bite of Bleak is up here somewhere. And of course, this we will, we will, we want to beat them. Yeah, yeah, that's important, you know. So we're gonna do all that we can to give them a, a good fight. We will. We will, Mr. Fifty One. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. About 500 kilometers further north, Team Headbanger Lures with Marcus Taylor and Emmanuel Sverd are about to enter their second season of Perch Pro. In their first season, Marcus caught a new Perch Pro topwater record with a 46 cm warrior, and Emmanuel caught a true tank of a perch exceeding the 2 kilo mark. Despite those achievements, they didn't win, so now they're back for revenge. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. This is Perch Pro Season 9. Uh, we are Team Headbanglers. My name is Marcus Talus and this is... Amanda Svard. And uh, today it's time for some top water action. We are actually in the, like, the middle of the lake on a shallow plateau with a bit, lot of big rocks. We are going to target for the top water with uh, the Spitfire. And we're doing uh, big fish and we're not going for numbers. Never. So, should we go? Yeah, it's time. let's go. Let's go. The teams can fish wherever they want in Europe, but the next team has also chosen to fish in the northern parts of Sweden. Team Catch With Care has participated in all previous seasons of Perch Pro with one victory in the bag from season 7 when they fished in the Netherlands. Welcome back, Evert Ostam and Adam Ore. Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of the new season. Season 9. Perch Pro 9. Yes sir. And with me in the boat is... Evert Ostam. As always. And my name is Adam Ore. We're the team Catch With Care and we are not in the Netherlands this year. Not this time. We are in the beautiful country of Sweden. My home country. Beautiful Sweden. Uh, up north, fishing for perch, but we're not going for the big fish. We are all in for the numbers in this season. Gonna stack some 30s. Hopefully we uh, end up in the 100 today. Let's hope so. So first cast is coming up. Stay tuned for Cash With Care. Continuing on the theme of Perch Pro veterans, Team Sporting Seaman are back for another round and they are the team who have won Perch Pro the most times. Good morning and welcome to Perch Pro number 9. We are Team Sporting Seaman Scandinavia. We are armed and ready and ready to yacht with you guys. I am Stefan Nilsson, I'm the owner of Sporting. This is my seventh time on Perch Pro and I'm a three-time champion and I'm gonna make this number four. Dia here I'm fishing with Thomas and I'm the sales agent for Scandinavia for Seaman. I'm fishing with Stefan, the perch master. We're up in a mid-sized lake in the northern parts of Sweden. We are so excited and we will rock this year, I'm sure. Let's go and get them. Two. Coming up next is a German team who participated in Perch Pro for the first time in the previous season and 15 minutes into it, they caught a new all-time Perch Pro topwater record with a 46 cm lunker. Kingfisher Angel Reisen arranges fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world and now they're at one of them, in the middle parts of Sweden. Good morning guys, welcome to Perch Pro 9. The plan for today is we start with topwater for like around two hours to hope that we can secure the top water point. Then we just quickly get the boat out, change waters and go out to the Baltic to go for the top five. That's yes. the game plan to today. get a good one. Let's get the season started, man. Keep, Keep on, on losing. The second to last team is new to Perch Pro and they actually represent a country who has never participated in any Canal Gratis tournaments before. 
A warm welcome to Team Eholotes.eu from Latvia, represented by Christians Godins and Martins Baloudis. They are both highly experienced tournament anglers with many titles in their bag, and in 2014 they launched Eholotes.eu, Latvia's leading sport fishing and marine electronics retailer. They also developed trailers for sport fishing boats, big pike trailers, and now they will fish in the northern parts of Sweden. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Good morning, my name is Martins Balodis. And my name is Christians Godins. So, we fished together many years. More than 10. We don't remember. Yeah, more than 10, definitely. We won Latvian Championship. Yeah, and we take uh, participation in different uh, international as well competitions and championships. And now we are in Perch Pro. Finally. Finally we are in Perch Pro and we love Swedish Perch. Uh, not just perch, Swedish nature is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and but perch, perch, but, perch, we focus on perch this but time. They are really good perches. Yeah. So uh, I think this will be a great show. We want to win. I know it will be hard, but we never give up. Yeah, we will fight till the end. Uh, and, we will look yeah. for biggies, for big yeah. super perch. And check us out on a short day. It will be interesting. Oh yeah. That's it. And follow us, team echolotes.eu. We yeah. are ready for battle. Yeah. The last team is the only one not fishing in Sweden. Instead, Team Neistroft with Tobias Ekvall and Dustin Stjerne will be hunting the elusive perch of the Netherlands, which almost gave them the victory of the last season. Okay, Toby, before we start Perch Pro, always in the morning, the best sound in the world. Good morning! Are you ready, Toby? Always ready. Let's go to the first one. ready! Of course. Tobias and Dustin have participated in the three previous seasons and are still chasing their first victory. They have performed extremely well every time but have repeatedly fallen on the finish line. Last year they were incredibly close as they caught a 50.8 cm monster, only 0.2 cm short of giving them the victory. Better luck this time, boys. Hello and welcome to our fourth season of Perch Pro. Crazy. And we were so close winning the last year. 0.8 cm more on the biggest perch and we would have won. So our goal today is to catch big one and win <laughs> <Yeah>. this. <laughs> I mean the goal is to catch a big one but we have to say our pre-fishing was always bad but this time it was bad as hell. Our expectations are not that big but we hope to uh, yeah we will definitely not go for the numbers we try to catch this one big fish every day every day and uh, hopefully top five and we'll have a special thing on the shore day. Yes. So, some secrets. What's the special thing on the show day? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a you secret. know it more Even for you. you. Even for you. <laughs> okay, so let's get the rods ready. I'm pumped. Even the pre fishing was not that good. Um, good luck for all the other, other teams. Yeah. Let's go. I want to start now, Dustin. Me too, I'm pumped. <laughs> One minute. Those were our eight teams, and this is how they're spread out across Europe. Seven of them in Sweden and one team in the Netherlands. Time is soon 8 o'clock and the teams can start fishing. Three, two, two one, one, let's zero. go! First time cast, is, time, is, nine. time is 8. Well, hello. Time is 8, we are ready to start. First cast. First cast, roll out! Team catch with care! It's on the move. First cast of our fifth perch pro. Make it count, Toby. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, we're gonna take the first cast. And reps rock now, first cast. Good fight. <laughs> yep. Watch us. Out. So it's time, Richard. First time. cast. First cast. Perch Pro. Which Perch Pro is it? Perch Pro? Nine, I think. Nine. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, first cast. Fight the Bleak doing the first cast. Perch Pro. Nine. Nine. Let's, Let's go. go. Boom. Hold on to your horses. Yeah, I think the other teams is going for the bigger fish today. I think first day is really important to have this big fish with you for the rest of the competition. So I think we should see the other teams going for the big one today. Yeah. The I don't know if are. some... Do you think somebody is going for the numbers today? Like totally going for the numbers? I don't know. We have a new team with us this year and I have yeah. no idea what they are doing or where they are. We are starting our first Perch Pro. We are starting with Stofotters. This is a good place for tofoters because this is 
uh, shallow area uh, with some Weeds grass and, and, and there is there is perch first perch on first cast <laughs> i'm not happy but it is a first perch and i hope it's the smallest in this championship yeah but as i told that the place is very good for top water because there is grass there is cutted trees there is shallow area and goes deep this is a place where big ones come up for bite fish. If it doesn't work, we will go deeper. Okay guys, we start with the top water lure. It's a wake prop from Norris. We catch the several good ones. So we are here actually fishing and it's right in the middle of a lake. And um, yeah, the structure comes all up from 10 meters around. It's like a little plateau. But this is usually the ground where they chase. So let's see what this day brings. Ooh. What the f? Not a <laughs> Ah, oh, man, that's goosebumps all around. And off she goes. Top water action right away, but the minimum length for a perch to count in Perch Pro is 30 centimeters, so still no approved fish on the board. All right, we are on our first spot. We have a little bay in here, and we have a little bit of a weed line and some weeds in the water here. And it's like from, from three to two meters, and we have packed with, with bait fish in here, and also we have perch in here. So we're gonna start here to see if they are gonna be active for us. I'm gonna start using the the Shimano World Minnow. It's a super, super good moving, suspending jerkbait. Uh, gonna tell you later a little bit more about what's in this beauty. Let's go. I'm using this popper with a flash boost action because it active the perch sometimes very well. So let's try. Let's go. All right, guys, I think the condition was not what yes, we- one on top order. Great, 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 great. Not big one. Oh, she, she has gone. <laughs> but it shows they can go on yeah. the top. I have one following it. They are Crazy. not into it. Yeah, I need to change a little bit. We think that we're not the only team that's going for the numbers. We think, mostly, that the rest of the guys, uh, let's see, like five or six teams, they're gonna go for uh, for big fish, maybe some top water, stuff yeah. like that. We expect that uh, at least one team is in the Netherlands hunting for the big fish. A lot of teams will go for maybe big fish and numbers. That's our hope, because we are going all in for numbers. I hope we are the only team going for the numbers today. Yeah. And the big ones, <laughs> yeah, always the big ones, but there are numbers here, we know that. Just need to find the school of them and catch some numbers. Yeah, good one. That's yeah, good. really good. Really good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! yeah. Yes! So, oh. hello, mother! <laughs> I know it was there. Oh. Yeah, that's a solid fish. It's so nice to have in the beginning. That's a good perch. Really good one. Stand up, gig head. The scorpion gig head. Yeah. Put her on the board. First approved perch of the tournament with no doubt. This one looks more like a 40 pluser at least. 45. Really good perch. Yeah, nice fish. There we go, first approved perch of the tournament goes to Team Bite of Leak and what a start. A 45 cm beauty which could be very important for their top 5. Took the Pope in albino eye color with a stand-up jig head with titanium fins on it. So it will always stand up in the water. Really good bait and head. So we need to make a click. Now we go. We're gonna fish this uh, drop off. It's like a plateau that's like five, six meters. And there we have found a lot of perch in the pre fishing. Uh, we have heard about the 53 centimeter perch caught there last week, one, one week ago exactly. Oh, so they are here. Oh. <coughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A lot. Should we go for the numbers? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think we will maybe catch. I, I would guess if, if we catch five today, we're lucky. Yeah, I think that's almost not possible to catch five, but hey, we will see, you never know. 
they are, nice. they yeah. are here. In the pre-fishing we had the best fishing, well we have fishing aggressive. So I'm fishing a hard bait with hard uh, twitches. They for sure are here to the right. Yeah, at the moment I fish quite aggressive um, because the fish are not really active. I try to trigger them, but in a couple of minutes, if this shows no effect, I will um, yeah, go a bit slower. First I do a tube and then maybe I do Carolina rig or normal jig. So we have to try around a bit because as pre-fishing uh, showed us, it's really, really tough. It's this one big fish we can catch here, or if we are really lucky, but I think that's almost impossible, we can catch five big fish. We will see. We have to be really concentrated the whole day because it's this one bite which can make the difference. Oh, that one, that one. Good one, Ned. It's not that big, but it's a, it's a keeper. Keeper. Yes! Uh, but, but yeah, it's good. Could be good for our top five. No, but they are here. That's a good sign. Yeah, for sure they are here. It was quite close to the boat, and I said they were on the right side. Very good, Toby. First Thanks. fish. At least we caught one. I think it's 40. Yeah? yeah. I think it's 38. But it's a beautiful fish. No, you're right. 38. But yeah, they are here though. Good. Now we just need to catch the 53 that they caught here one week ago. Yeah. I'm just gonna release it, release it quite fast because it could be a bite period now. Yeah. Not the 53 centimeter perch thereafter, but since pre fishing was extremely slow, it's a good sign that they're catching fish at all. 38 centimeters is a nice fish, but in Perch Pro, it won't help them much. To have any chance of getting the top 5 point, all 5 fish must usually be above 45 centimeters to be in the game. Sometimes the big ones prefer a more subtle presentation, so Dustin decides to give the Nace tube prototype a try. So changing to a tube, very nice action, like darting action, if you see it in the water. Perch really love it. And I'm fishing the uh, Straft S-Line. I love it because it's really smooth and uh, makes no noises. That's a perfect combination. We'll see if the perch like the tube. But the training showed us they don't like much. They're really gourmet at the moment. But I think I should stick to the hard bait fishing quite fast. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do it. I think at least one should fish uh, quite fast and aggressive and the other one can fish slow. But it didn't took the bite, uh, uh, the bait where you were letting it down. It, you were retrieving it, right? No. Perch. Good perch. Very good perch. To yeah. be, that's way bigger than yours. If you wait. Is it very close? I can't wait. It's it's way bigger. It's huge. Yes, I have it. It's a really big one. It's a really big one. Oh my god! Take it, take it, take it, take it. No! Fuck. I couldn't take it. I know. Oh. That was the 50, right? Uh, could have been, yes. That has been the 50 we needed. F f f f um. I know I'm over your line, but I will. No problem. <sighs> oh no. <Man. laughs> I'm crying. I'm laughing on the outside and crying on the inside. But at least, no, I'm crying both inside and outside. <laughs> oh no. I'm shaking. Me too. Shaking fuck. I can honestly don't do anything. No, I saw that. It was way too far away for you. And it was strong. They are so strong in here. Oh, that's the worst in the competition. You know, as I said earlier, you get this one chance. We have to be concentrated. That might have been the 50. No, I'll go here. I lost it. But what to do? That's fishing. No, everybody said it. I think already. I'm a bit uh, sad now. <laughs> I could cry to be honest, because the pre-fishing was so peep hot. Yeah. Ah. 
We just need to get another one. Let's do it, Toby. Yeah, how hard can it be? Just catch another 50. Just catch another 50. Very easy to say, a bit more difficult to pull off. Losing a fish like that when you know that you might just get one or a few chances per day is the biggest pain for any fisherman. Up north, Team Headbanger Lures are also hoping for that one big fish to strike their lures. Actually, we're going to like stay on this spot the entire day. Uh, the plan is that, uh, because we know that the big fish are here. It's a natural like feeding spot for them. Uh, and we're actually like standing on top of some really big uh, rocks over here. You can see them uh, in the water. It's a plateau going out from one and a half meters out to 12 meters. It's a very strategic spot for the fish to come up and hunt. And it's a good spot for the bait fish to hide. And sometime during the day, the perch will hunt. And then we want to be here. When I'm fishing top water and I don't see the fish hunting in the surface, I keep casting the same direction to draw the fish out, casting the same line over and over again for like 10 casts or so before I change direction. Sometimes that can trigger the fish. Let's see if it works today. I go with a Seaman Turd, TRD Finesse. I'm fishing with only a 6 gram head, so it takes quite a long time to reach the bottom. There we go. First fish. Way to go, Thomas! Yes. Ready, Danskan? I'm ready. Let's get the net. Is it a good one? That's okay. No, it's a. It's okay, size. So it's good size. Good size. First thing. Boom! There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> Keep on fishing. Second cast. Fish on. Fish on for Danskin also. Yep. Okay. This is a small one. Yeah. It's smaller. It's a no net. This is a small one. There you go. Third. June bug. Wet the board. 41. 41 and a half. So it's a 41. This one's uh, 30... 33. So it's a pruned fish. Hit the clicker. Hit the clicker one here also. We're only 15 minutes into the first day and some of the teams have started off really well while others are struggling a bit. One of them is Shimano who still have zero approved fish on the board and no. Unfortunately, you can't add up the length if you catch two perch in one cast. Okay, I'm starting to bite but they're just a little too small. So... We maybe need to search a little bit around this area because we have lots of small fish here. This maybe, yeah, should yeah, be probably. approved. Do you want the net? Oh, it's it's a pike. <laughs> no! <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Take it easy. I come. Oh, you, the pike! You saw that? Yeah. They came after your lure. It's oh. a big pike. Yeah. Jesus, you have to you have to film this. Okay, shit, the pike is coming. The pike is coming. Oh. 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 I had a perch on, and the pike came and took it. <laughs> you can all see that on the Mega Live. That was a big pike. Oh, big pike. <laughs> oh shit! Did he hit it? Yeah, he has my perch. Oh, now we're in some trouble, guys. <laughs> I have a big pike on my perch. And it's a clicker perch. Rick, Richard Nurmi, the pike fisherman. Uh, sometimes you're glad you have powerful rods, but no. Yeah, I think he let my perch go. Yeah. Yeah, it's a clicker. Yeah, nice fish. They have uh, 34. My first clicker in perch, bro. How was feeling? Feeling good. Good feeling? Yeah, really good. I was a bit nervous. <laughs> Changed lure two times already. <laughs> <laughs> In how long time? 15 minutes? Yeah. Really good strike. Mm. She had turned the lure upside down. So really good strike. Really angry too. Hard to measure. Yeah, good fish. Good fish. This is good one. Yeah, this is really good one. 
Oh, try to bring it up. Ah, it's a good fish. You're smoking hot. It's also even stronger than the first one, but this is smaller. I but it's it a good big. perch. She had been through some stuff. Yeah, she's old warrior. She hunted by pikes all her life. Four to one. Four to one centimeter perch. Old warrior. Like always, when fishermen didn't catch a fish, it depends to the weather or the water or the fishes, but not to the fishermen. But we have a, the air pressure drops down. We had good conditions the last days, but we have to deal with it. We try to cast and cast and cast and cast because we know we have good fishing here. And uh, that's what we can do. Do another cast. What we basically do is, of course, we hope and wait for chasing fishes, but if they are not active, we kind of activate them with the sounds of the topwater lures. So especially with this very loud prop bait and the, the popper, it sometimes makes like click right away and the sound just makes them crazy and the hunt is on. So even as Matthias said, right now it's a little bit slow, but we try to, you know, activate them and get some action. That's the plan and it's not working out within whatever the next couple of minutes we've got the two spots left so yes let's see what comes Ooh. perch oh yeah the perch yeah i think so tell me if i need the net oh good one can you give me the net sure oh maybe it's the first clicker yeah, it should be click. Oh, bra, Henke. Good job, man. At least we've got a top water fish. The first top water counter of the day. I love those fishes. It's a 35. Put them in the live well. Keep on oozing. The first click on the wake prop. First one. First fish. Second fish. Put the spot lock. Ooh. Edge ball. Long fish. Double strike. That's how we do it. I will check it, but I this think it's... This one is it's not 30. Small. 28. And I'm using the new uh, Strike Pro Spin Tail. Really nice lure that's racking up some kills lately. Yeah. This is approved. Yeah. Yeah, first approved fish. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. First click. First fish on the board on the Astro Vibe. Using the big one, right? The 26 grams? Yeah. First fish, Birch Pro 9. Fish in the boat. Boom. Yeah. First clicker for Team Catch with Care. They have a long way to 100 perch, but there is still plenty of time left. Team Eholotes.eu haven't found the 30 plusers yet, but now they see a school of decent sized perch hunting in the surface. It's first clicker on the popper, 31. Small, but still it counts. Smaller one again. It's a gangster. Not very big, but the proof. Yep. Fish on. Third, June bug. The board is still wet. Fish, Fish on. on. Good size. Nope. Gangster. 38. Fish. I'm a little worried for the engine. This is a better size, I think. Down again. Yeah. You need my help? Yep, this is good, better. This is a good one. Better at least. Better at least. Yeah, it's a good one. Super. Boom, high five. <laughs> there we go. Biggest for the day. It spits out a small perch. So they're eating perch. You see the turd in the mouth. Let's measure it. It's a 45, yes. Team Sporting Seaman found a school of active perch and in just a few minutes they passed Team Bite of Bleak on the top five board. 
Down in the Netherlands, Team Neistroft are hunting their second perch. Oops. I want oh, big one, big one. This is a good one. It's going deep. I'm shaking. Yes! Oh. It's nice, oh. yes! No, I thought it was going to be bigger. But still, we, we're catching them. I'm gonna, now this time, I'm gonna remove the hook from the net already now, if you catch another one. Yeah. So it's not tangled. Yes, Toby! That's so good. At least we start catching a fish. Ah, it's such a relief. Let's see how long it is. I say 42, 44, 45. Ooh, quite oh, no. good. Maybe. 40, maybe it could be 45. Ah, no, it's 44, 43. Yeah, we'll see, but it's it's a fat one. It's a nice fish. It's heavy for its weight. Heavy for its weight? Length, you mean? Length. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, no, it's 45. It's 45. If we catch, if this is the smallest one, I think we might get the top uh, five point. But yours was bigger than this one. Well, mine was bigger, yeah. So it was 48 to 50, I would say. Yeah. Let's put it back. Hopefully they continue biting and hopefully the big one I lost is hungry again, maybe in one hour. But it's good, very good that Toby at least caught one. Toby, that's typical Swedish guys are always catching, uh, casting over the line. Dustin, you're casting a lot to the right. I yeah, of like course, because you said the fish is to the right. Like, yeah. Of course I catch, cast where the fish is. But they are more. Dustin, you are casting to the fish. Why do you do that? Okay, Toby, next time I do in the empty water behind us, okay? You just lose the nana house. It's better to leave them to me. <laughs> you know why I put a big hook? Uh, when you put the big hook, the small ones just grab it until here and can't take it in so easy. And then they uh, warm okay, up the bigger coming, ones. Coming, coming. It looks like one more clicker. Probably. It's clicker. Yep. Opposite side? Yep. And this will be definitely clicker. It's 33. Second one. So, one more, please. Boom. Not you. Where is your old brother? Opa. This is not small. This Good. runs up and this is a clicker, I believe. Yeah. Chris, check out. Okay. Yep. This is a better. This is much better than the 30s. This can be close to 40. Yep. Yep! Good. Hello! Good. 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 Fantastic gray color. This is, this is leap, a deep living fish. Uh, if it would be shallow, it would be much more colorful. Number three. And for Martins as well. So we have six perches. And this is just beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There is bite fish, yeah, that's why. There is a really nice school. Big, 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 big. Net? I have net, it's okay. okay. Just work out. I saw him coming out from the... It's okay. It's good, yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. It's hopefully will be clicker for me as well. This is going to be a little more than 39. <laughs> You see? This is little more than 39. This is 39. It's 36 and a half. <laughs> they are super active. Yes. The newcomers from Latvia are in the game. After a slow start going for the top water point, they changed tactics and are now actually holding the top five point. But the three-time champion Sporting Seaman are not planning to be defeated that easily. I'm changing. I want to see if I can catch a little bigger fish. I'm going for the, the peak hula, Mr. Jump Jump. And as a skirt, bait from CNW baits, Rocket Buck. I bite up the head because I want to get in a little bit more tight to the body, ready to rock. This one I like because it has gold. The spoon is of gold. Nice one. Jump, jump. Peak hula. Let's see if they want to bite the bladed jig today. Mm. 
Let's see. Ah, it's nice. Boom! Good one. Good one! <laughs> ah! Boom! Nice. Put it on. Super. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh yeah, baby. This was good. This was what we needed. Yes. That's this nice one. what the one. Super. The gold blade. Gold oh, blade. this is a tank! Come on, baby! Woohoo! Look at it! Look at the jump jump, the peak cooler. It totally inhaled it. This is a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice fish. Oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. Change the golden blade and, and the white trailer, specially made for me, white with pearl. Just love it. Gold blade, peak cooler. Jump, jump, jump. This one's 46. There you go. Nice. Beautiful fish. Tank. Sporting seamen are back in the lead and are holding both the top five and big fish points. It's nine o'clock, which means that the teams have fished for one hour. Okay, guys, so it's nine o'clock, so it's time for the first report. Can you help me remember how many fish do we get? Yep. Zero approved. <laughs> Zero approved. Yes, keep casting. We have two good purchases now on the paper, but I'm still stressing a little bit. We, we are not catching the numbers that that we expected to do at this point. But still 2 plus 40, that is good. Good start, first hour. Yes, twi twice again. Double. Double again. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> double. Small, that double. We need to find the big ones. Yes. So, 9 o'clock, we have been fishing for one hour now. Change to uh, the crankbait, the World Rush. It's a new, new uh, crankbait, almost like a square bill. Um, and they react on it, but I think the purchase is too small. We're standing on a shallow place and, and fishing out over and it's go down to six to seven meters. And I hope to get, get some reaction on the way up when we're fishing the, the crankbaits. So it's a little bit after nine, we are at a new spot. It's like a little channel where two rivers get together. And um, you see a lot more surface activity here. The perches are hunting. Yeah. So we had very good uh, pre-fishing here in this area. We hope we can get a fish on here too. I might change because Matthias is catching better with the wake prop. So I might change to a bigger lure too maybe to like walk the dog action to try this because the popper is not running well at the moment so um, yeah we give the spot a try for half an hour or something and then we go to a third spot for top water before we head to the to the baltic ocean Aye. oh that's a good one. Oh my mm. Mm. <laughs> take it easy oh that was a hard strike Ay, ay, ay. It's a perch, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> good job, man. Let him go. Thank you. As you see, the wake prop again. Ooh, <laughs> that's a nice fish. Ay, yeah. Yes, man. It's a really nice perch. It's a 38. A really lovely one. Whoopa. Good job, man. Too oh, stuck. Oh, shiggle. Oh, oh, get it, get it. Got it. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. no. The pike is still there. The pike is still behind them. No, no, don't you see him? We spook him because we need to fish. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you saw that? Yeah, yeah, he was just right under the perch. Oh, the On clicker. the wake So, here we are. Another nice perch. Is it a 38? No, it is a 37. No. 37. I'm still going with the topwater bait because we're hunting for that point. It's an extremely important point for us. So, I will. Maybe can be casting the top water for the whole day. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the other teams, Simone? What they are up to? Or anyone like chasing the top water point like we do? 
probably at least one or two of the other teams. What do you think about Kingfisher Angle Racer? Who... Yeah, they will probably go for the top water yeah. this year again. I mean, we're tied with them with the biggest top water uh, approach in French Pro history, so it can't be like that. We need to change that. Oh. oh, it's a perch? I think, I'm not sure. I think it's a perch, but it feels like a pike. If it's a perch, it's a giant. But it feels more like a pike, to be honest. No, it's, not. No, it's, it's a perch. It's a perch! Holy shit. Oh my god. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Let's get it in. It's in yes, there! Mary. Oh. <laughs> Bra, Henke! We needed this one. Check so. this one out! <laughs> Holy smokes, I'm shaking, man. Oh. oh, that's a giant, isn't it? Oh, 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 that is a huge fish. Holy shit. Check the beauty, oh. man. Oh. Okie dokie. Let's oh see. my god. How big is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a 40. It's a 45. That's a 45. It's a 45. Oh, that's the big fish spot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Henke. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so pumped, man. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 45 cm topwater lanker by Kingfisher Reisen Kamotakel. It's not a new Perch Pro topwater record, but it makes it into the top 3 and it's definitely the biggest topwater fish of Perch Pro 9 so far. Great job, Marius! Oh man, I'm still looking at my hands and still goosebumps everywhere. It's so nice, this spot is just so cool. And we are really happy to have a 40 on topwater. This might bring us hopefully a point. This is actually the lure I caught the perch with. It's the, I mean, it's pretty rubbed off here in the end, but it's still working. It's actually one of my favorite colors. And this is the tough bug from Norris. This fish actually took it twice. He missed it, turned around, took it again. It was insane. Here it is. Okay, guys, changed to soft bait. We had a really struggling first hour. And uh, now the rear also hooked up. So we really have, okay, also can be good. Oh, it's good. It's so we good. changed plates. I think it's our first approved one, closed mouth, and we have a 36. First on the paper for us. Great. Really, really Great, happy. mister. Really happy with us. It's a big one. Oh, it's good. First one validate perch. For you. We were in a shallow place. Uh, there is so much small one perch. So we went deeper and uh, we saw some of them on the, on the bottom. So I went to drop shot with a creature. Finally, first two fish on the board for Thierry and Pelle with 42 and 36 centimeters. The attempt to go for numbers in the shallow water didn't work out, but more finesse presentations in deeper water seems to work. Yeah, really good, really good. <laughs> Long and nice game fish. 43, yeah, it's 43. Took on the drop shot with a tiny like this, out, it was standing just on the inside of the rock. Yeah, but you threw a little bit longer last time, because now you're on the rock. No, I think I'm perfect now. Look, look now. Yeah. <laughs> a good one. High 30. No, this is a 40. Nah, no, maybe not, maybe not 40. 41. Two casts in a row, catch with two 40 pluser, really nice, just inside of a drop of a big rock we are lying on, they were standing. What I did was to switch to, to drop shot because we feel that uh, we don't get the bite as we should get. And we see the fish on the sonars and everything. So I changed to drop shot and then we moved around a little bit, put ourselves on a big rock and I could just throw like a five meter cast and let the drop shot go down in the pocket just below the stone where the bottom flattens out and just keep it there for a long time with a drop shot. So that's really success in this case. So catch two 40 pluser on this and the tiny they bite on.
in the color uh, smoke aisle. So let's see, we can catch some more. Toby and I have different tactics. I fish quite slow with a rubber jig and a craw. Toby fishes quite aggressive and from now uh, he catches really good with aggressive lures. We still try to do different things Yes. to see what works best. Because nothing is really working. No. Push. Big perch. Really big perch. F it's a huge perch. That's the 50 maybe. Yeah. Good work. It's not the 50, but it's the big one. Where did you catch it? Yeah, but where did it cost? <laughs> yeah. It was close to the boat. Yes! That's an important fish. Woo! Well done, Dustin. Ah, it was a st really strong one. Took the craw, nice craw. Oh, fuck. I think it's a, quite long, Dusty. Such a beautiful fish. Look at these big fish. Gris. Very beautiful fish. Mouth is closed. Right? Yes. Closed. 45. 45. Very important fish for the top five. Ah. Beautiful fish. That's why we stay in the Netherlands, because you have such fat fish that's hard to get anywhere else in Europe. It took the craw on the skirted jig. I really love this lure when it comes to perch fishing. Well done. Well. Yeah. Okay, guys, 10 o'clock report. Biggest fish is 42 and total top five is 118. The, the forecast has been a little problem for us. It's quite windy, picking up wind, and, and the pressure is falling, it's dropping, so that will not be a good thing. But I have one thing, it's when you have low pressure, the big fish will eat, because the, the, the small fish will affect more to the low pressure. So probably a big one soon. So let's go get it. There you have them, nice. there you have them, really good. This is three beauties. Okay, we'll try. Come on, then. 10 meter away. Yeah, it's good cost. It's really good cost. Probably we will, they will strike it now. Yeah, they're coming. Yep, you got. Yep. Perch? Yeah, good one. This is a. In a boat. One is following, maybe. Teddy, one is following, maybe, if we will try. You, you prefer? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's by himself now. He's by himself. Yeah, the other one goes. But they will also take. This is a good one. It's a 40. Yeah. Yes. Bam! The other one is behind. The other one is really behind. Behind. Drop down. Oh, drop, well, drop, that's drop. not very good. He's, he's dead. You see him. You see him. Drop down. Drop down. There. There. Outside there. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Yeah. Good. It's one more. <laughs> oh my god, bro! Oh my god, it's a 50 plus! It's a 50 plus! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Look at that one! <laughs> great, great, great. So oh, great. Oh, two beauties. This is a 50 plus. Please, yeah. Please. yeah. Just miss the 50. I don't, uh, uh, I don't uh, know. Uh, uh. We, we will see. We will see. No, <laughs> maybe 40. No, no, no. It's a, yeah, no, no it's one. Look at this that. one. This one is a really old one. Oh, great. Let's see. Let's time to, 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 to measure. measure. Yeah. Yeah, we check the small one first, and it's a 43, and then we check, oh. No, it's not 40, 50. No, it's not 50. No. It's a 46. 46. I thought it was bigger. Next one. Yeah. Next one will be 50. Yeah, but 46 is good. Oh, no. oh it looked so long. Oh, it looks so old and long. Yes. 
a little bit disappointed. Yes, but but it's a really beautiful fish. But for, for me, it's looked uh, like um, the um, lo yeah. last year one. So long. 43 and 46 is can't be. Well, it happens to the best of us. Not as big as they first thought, but those are two great fish at 43 and 46 centimeters, giving Team Shimano the big fish points together with Sporting Seaman, as well as the top five point with 207 centimeters. The teams have fished for two and a half hours, and at 12 o'clock, the teams will call each other and reveal their results. We have one and a half hour left of this first episode until the lunch report comes. What do you think, Richard, about the rest of the teams? Probably they're going to fish better than we have done. You think morning. so? Yeah, I think we're really struggling out here. I hope we're not alone with this kind of struggling this morning. I don't know. I think we're after in numbers, but yeah. we will take that back, I think, once we find the fish. With seven perch, Team Bite Oblique are way behind on the numbers. Catch with Kara stacking one 30 after the other and have 29 improved perch on the board. If they continue at this pace, 100 fish won't be impossible. Team Eholotes.eu are not far behind with 25 fish, but the team with the highest number is currently Sporting Seaman with 32 approved perch. Down in the Netherlands, Tobias and Dustin are desperately trying to add two or three more good sized fish to the board, but the Dutch perch can be extremely difficult to catch. They know for sure that the big ones are there, so they keep presenting different lures and techniques, hoping to trigger another one to bite. Oh, one, good one, big one. Yes, this is a good one. Ooh. Please bring it in, Toby. Whoa. You saw it? Yeah. Really big one. I'm nervous. Me too. What the f? It's a monster. Yes! yes. Ah. Not a 50, but it's such a nice fish. Yes. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, Toby! I net that for you. I wet it. You oh. net it and you wet it. I net it and then <laughs> wet it. And now I catch you another one. Oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Yes, it's 45 plus. Yes, Toby! Ooh, yeah, it's long. It's in a super fat as well. Oh, it's, it's really big. Maybe it's a 50? No. No, 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 no. Don't jump into the water. I'm gonna try to unhook. Ah. You see, this, this layer is go quite good, Dustin. Yeah. Your nice sleepless crank. I don't that want... works. I just want to. Make sure the net is ready if you catch another one. <laughs> oh, that's such a big fish. I think it's the biggest from today. Don't do that, please. It's <laughs> fatter than mine. That's why. Oh, such a good fish. Let's see how long it is before I drop it in the water. Yeah, it's closed. Yeah, 47. And such a heavy, beautiful fish. I think it, for the Swedish viewers, I think this one weighs like 1.9, maybe yeah. 2 kilo, because it's super heavy. Yeah. But I wouldn't say 2 kilo, maybe 1.9. Let's put it back. That's so good, Toby, really. It's so freaking good. Team Neistroft are on fire. Another beauty for Tobias on the Neis lipless crank, and with 47 centimeters, it steals the big fish point by a margin of 1 centimeter. One more perch, and they will be very dangerous for the top 5 point. The time is past 11 o'clock, so we're into the final hour of fishing before the phone report. Yeah, we changed location and we found new fish. I'm fishing with uh, worms, Seaman Finesse Worms, in the color PBG. What are you fishing with, Danskan? I uh, do a bladed jig, a peak hula. It's a little tough to find the fish. We find them... Ah, there's fish! It's not a super big, but at least it's a fish. And maybe it's a good size. Yes! Kaboom! Shagaboom! <laughs> Free drinks in the house! There we go. Suddenly it happens, but this, it's not a super size, but it's a good size. Yeah, it's a good size. Really slow fishing down in the bottom with the finesse worms that I cut about two, three centimeters from. And this little purple color, green flakes, 
Nice, 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 nice. Let's see how long it is. Uh, long. 44. 45. 45. Super. Nice fish. Right? Yeah, it's a good one. This is a good one. Yeah, super. I don't know how big, but it's a good one. I don't think it's a tank, but it's a good one. Ah, it's a nice one. Nice size. Look here. It's just goggled it all the way down. Finesse head, CNW rocket buck, special pearl white. It's a 42. 42. Small one. They are uh, striking here at least. That's good. We are fishing on a really steep rock that's sticking up out of the water and going straight way down to 11 meters. So. Yeah, we are on 11 meters now, right? Yeah. No, we're on 8.5. Yeah, good fish. This is good fish. Yeah, yeah, this is good. Good one. This is. This is good one. Yeah, it is. It's a really good one. Really nice fish. Yeah. Mama! Yes! It's so hot today, I don't get it. You said it was a big fish there, so I thought, yeah, I might yeah. take it. No, oh, small one. Just hooked in the lip. Mouth against, 45. Yeah, proved. Yeah. So, one other more 45 fish today. So we have two on the paper now. And uh, yeah, we're getting happy with that. I'm fishing a drop shot rig now with the banger ribs because the fish are pretty slow. So I want to do a slow presentation and be able to keep the bait in the same position for a long time. I know that the fish are around and it's just a matter of time until they start feeding. Nice. Nice. On the drop shot. First cast. <laughs> yeah. I think this might be our first approved fish in the banger ribs. Nice. Maybe this is what we have to do until they start eating from the surface. Nope. <laughs> Shit. You can't do that with a 50. Nope. <laughs> That's like restrict, really forbidden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drill him. <laughs> what you doing, guys? Drill him. Mr. McGeezers. Two clickers. Yeah. Tail is here, 38. Nice fish. Call it on the uh, atomic chicken piglet shed. No. Uh, 38 centimeters, the biggest so far. Really happy with the fish. Quick release and then keep on hammering. We are in a good spot now, and uh, that, but that's why we put the big bait on, because it sorts out the small ones. You see, it's bended again, so, and the big bait uh, really helps to get away from the non -certies. So, and give you some 40s too. It sounds like 35, 37, not 40 plus. Oh, or maybe 40, okay. Hello, my, hey, my friend, you, you see that roach? Oh. Don't afraid about this big bite. Don't afraid about the big bite. It's a nice perch fishing, not too big. It's a, it's a clicker of 39. Yep. So, uh, but so, so strong guy. You see the muscles are, oh, I will eat again that big roach. So go eat it. Okay, as you see, we have uh, uh, several boxes. Uh, this is our motor box, this is Bicebreeze box, and this is quantity box. When we find a good school of perches and they are active and they are not very picky, then we go for quantity. Wolf Creek, there is Bassassin, Gator, and so on. And, but when it gets more harder to get the bites, it's possible to choose super natural colors from Bicebreeze. This is 6 inch and it's very good for a big perch as well. Those are five inches. It's so salty and moves a lot. But when we found the bigger school and the activity is going on, then it's needed to change for 
not so soft rubber. It moves as well, uh, very good, but it stays on hook longer. That means that it's possible to keep casting, keep casting and uh, keep the tempo. And tempo is very important when you are fishing the perches and then you can easily oh my go God. for next ones. I hope it's not pike, but I think it's a pike. Maybe not, because the heat was absolutely if, like If pike. you need my assistance, just stay. No, it's a perch and not so big, but the bite was... It was good and it's about 40 again. This is 40 plus, I believe, and this is Bass Assassin, it works. Oh, good, good. 43. 43. 43? It's yes. precise 43. <laughs> Ecolotes.eu. <laughs> right and size. <laughs> at the moment, the, the biggest one. 43. Good. So, keep, good. Keep good, casting. Good, good. Amazing action for team Ecolotes.eu, who are slowly but surely building a very strong top five. Team Kingfisher Ace and Kamotakel are about to change water. They have already secured a solid top water perch and are now aiming for the top five point. Team Shimano are going for big fish in deep water and just found some interesting structure with one fish close to it. Small perch usually go in skulls of many fish while the bigger ones usually go a few together. But the biggest ones are often lone warriors. Go a little bit like this. There is something there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a pike. Yeah, maybe. But so it's too... The, other, the three was much more done, but we can try it, I think. This? This is bait fish. Bait fish. Yeah. So we can try yeah, all around. We, 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 we anchor here, yeah. make some casts, yeah. let's see. <sighs> it feels... Oh, oh coming. Pop, 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 pop. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. What's that? Bike? No perch. Perch, perch. But it's not so big, it's not so big. Not so big, but perch. You're not so big! <laughs> not so big! <laughs> so good one! Very good one! Oh wow 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 wow! <laughs> you oh, down it! You down it! Oh, I rest my case. Oh. What uh, an emotion! Oh. <laughs> oh my god! Who is the boss? No! <laughs> oh. Well, right now, Team Neistroft are the bosses of the Big Fish Point with a 47 cm beauty while Sporting Seamen are holding the top 5 point. But this fish could give both those points to Shimano. Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, guys. Just saw a lonely warrior standing, rocky area, 8-9 meters, and totally inhaled it. I fished with a Ned rig. It's a little bit windy, so I used the 7 grams. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this one. Yeah, a beauty. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Yeah, really healthy one. Now we're talking. Now it's a 48 something. Oh, 49. Ah. No, it's a 48. Yeah, almost 49. <laughs> but 48 is a beautiful. I'm so happy with this one. Yeah, look at her. Yeah, totally amazing perch. And look at those beautiful eyes it's like purple super cool fish yeah unbelievable there we go new top fish for team shimano and with 48 centimeter it's one centimeter longer than the 47 caught by team neistroft they also increased their top five length to 219 centimeters the same as sporting seaman which would give them one point each if the day would end right now Pelle was right, the low air pressure made the fishing slow, but it did indeed catch a big one. Adapting to the circumstances by going deep with a finesse presentation sealed the deal for Team Shimano. Well played. The phone report is coming up in just a few minutes and Team Neistroft are still grinding the same area as they fished for the whole day. Tobias with the lipless crank and Dustin with the tube. Fish! Small one. No, no, not too small. Look at it, but also not, it's not a huge one, it's a 30. You sure? Oh, no. No, it's bigger. Yes. Good. Here, take it, take it. Yes. Oh, it's bigger. It's quite big, Dustin. It's f***ing big, Dustin. It's not as big as the one I lost, but you know, the one you lose are always the biggest, but it's a really nice fish and it swallowed our uh, tube. Oh, look at this, it's really in the back. You need a plier? No, I think I 
get it like this. There it is. Ooh, I think it's quite long, Dusty. It's 45 plus. What a nice fish. Well done, Dustin. What a nice fish. Another fantastic perch caught by Team Neistroft in the final minutes before the report. The question is, is it a new big fish point or not? Very it nice. is long, Dustin. Well, let's roll the 12 o'clock for report and find out. Okay, so this is, uh, this is Catch With Care. Hello guys. And, uh, hello. <laughs> we have uh, 64 fish on the, the number. Uh, biggest fish on 36, top water 30, top 5, 173. Everybody copy? Yep. Yep. Perfect. Here is a hello to CEO Martins. We have 39 fish. Biggest one is 43. Uh, top water 31. And uh, top 5 we have 200 and uh, three. yes, 3. Just 3. But we are working on that. <laughs> well done. Great. This is Stefan from Team Sporting Seaman. We have 46 fish. Our biggest fish is 46. We have zero on top water and we have 215 centimeter. Nice. Good. Pretty good. Good job. This is Emanuel Svad from Team Headbanger. We have one fish of 33 centimeter. Zero fish on to top waters. Okay. That's it. Okay, so this is Bite Oblique, Peter speaking. And we have a biggest fish of 45 centimeter. And we have a top five of 215. And we have a total of 14 fish. And no, nothing on, on, on the top water. Okay, guys. Hello, everybody. This is Pelle speaking from Shimano. Uh, we got the number seven fish. The biggest one is 48 centimeter. And the total top five is 219. 219? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And zero on the top water. Way to go. Good. Thank you. Hello, this is Marius from Team Kingfisher Horizon Camo Tackle speaking. We've got a total amount of five fish. The biggest one is 45. And we've got a total top five of 188. And our biggest fish on top water is 45. Oh, congrats! Oh, nice. Wow! Good job! Yeah. Good job, yeah, guys! Thank you! Nice one! Not bad! Nice. Thanks, man! Nice fish! Nice yeah. fish! Great top water! Really good fish! Hey, that's Dustin from Team Nace Stroft. Um, we have a total amount of seven fish. Uh, the biggest one is 48, and we have a top five of 223. Nice. Oh, hey, nice. That's the wow. boy. Yeah. That's awesome. And nothing on top water. Way to go. Good job, Way to go. guys. Good job. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, awesome. good job, guys. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon, guys. Yes. Yeah. Good luck. Have a yeah. great day. Be safe. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you, Enjoy. guys. Enjoy. Okay. Have a nice fishing, yeah. everyone. Yeah. Good fishing. Bye. Good bye. fishing. Bye-bye. Yeah. See you. Bye-bye. 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 So, yep. Oh, it's but close. Well, well done. Well done, but hey. It's too close to feel comfortable. <laughs> no, of course. But, Shimano's uh, really dangerous. I think they are the guys which can yeah, make yeah. it dangerous for us. For sure. It's so close. Isn't so it? close. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. Oh, but they have a really good five fish and we, you know everybody is big. Yeah. Nice, you know, everybody of their fishes are, are look, look at this decent. Top water of 45. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. <laughs> Good job, man. Oh. So far, it lasts. So top it's, it's better than I expected. <laughs> yeah, but top water is uh, it's a really hard. Forty-five. Yeah, so we, actually, we can check it, but uh, yeah. mostly forget it. It's, uh, it's the... until tomorrow. But you know, we are just one cast away from fifty-three, so it's okay. Uh, even even. 49 is playable. <laughs> uh, at this stage, but yep. at the evening we need 53, so... Okay, uh, okay, move on. Move on. Yeah. That was tough. That's really tough. What do we do? Yeah, what the heck do we do? The worst part is Kingfisher. Yeah, 45 on top water. Yeah, we can, ah, we can beat that we can for beat sure. That. Yeah. 150 centimeter plus on top water? Yeah, yeah. we'll do that. 
Let's do it. But it's quite open still. Yes, and really open. It's, yeah. This is the most probably all those years I've been in the tournament. This is the most open program number one. Start. We are CWC is 64. We are you have, sure they had 64? Yeah. Okay. Uh, this feels really nice because we are on 64. We are uh, swinging on, it. We are on schedule, so we go all in for the numbers, won't we? Number punto. Seeing you guys next week for more action. Like we said, we go all in this uh, this Perch Pro for the numbers, and we are on schedule. See you next week, guys. To the loo. Ladies and gentlemen, that was an intense first episode, but let me tell you, this was just a warm-up. Don't miss the second episode of Perch Pro 9 next Friday at 7 p.m. Central European time. If you want to have a chance at participating in Perch Pro yourself, read more and register your team for the Perch Pro Open Qualification in June of 2023 at tournaments.canalgratis.se. The winners will not only win a spot in the real Perch Pro YouTube edition, but also secure 5,000 euros cash. If you can't wait until June, why not register your team for the Sander Pro Open Qualification in March? Or if you're more of a pike angler, check out the Fly vs. Jerk Open Qualification, which will happen in June. My name is Mille Pettersson, and you have been watching Perch Pro 9.